Hey everybody, it's 8-Bit Eric, and today is the question and answer session that I promised you a couple weeks ago. And I got a good number of questions in, I'm happy about the response, it was way better than when I had 200 subs, and nobody answered or asked anything at all, and I felt like a complete jackass, but I'd like to thank each and every single one of you. Subscriber count is about 575 right now, keep getting a couple of you motherfuckers that unsub and fuck with me, but hopefully soon it'll be 600. But let's go ahead and get this motherfucker underway. I'm going to put everybody's YouTube link down there. If you ask a question, you're in for a free shoutout. So thanks a lot, people. First question comes from Vintage Video Game Geek, who is a reviewer on YouTube, and he is the shit. So check his channel out. What advice would you give to those that are wanting to grow an epic beard? Well, you see, beards like this aren't built in a day. This is a Rome of beards on my face. You see, this is pure machismo. Nah, I'm just kidding. Um, I've always been a hairy kid. I swear to God I had a mustache when I was 11. Uh, probably because I'm a freaking wetback. Um, I don't know. I lucked out. Sometimes it's a little bit of a curse because, as you can see, I am one hairy motherfucker. You don't want to see my legs or my ass. Um, my hair grows like nothing. And it's really a pain in the ass, really, especially in the summer months. The next question comes from Dan Boy Productions, who is one of my best buddies. But he asks, does your beard scratch Captain 8's nuts when you're sucking on him? Well, you know what, Dan Boy Productions? Fuck you. That was actually pretty funny. I had to put it in there. Uh, Matt is a friend of mine. He does a lot of stuff on his own channel. Check it out. Uh, he's actually starting to put a lot more content. Me and him are going to actually start doing some joint projects together, so go ahead and just check out his channel and see everything that he's got. He has high quality videos, and he's just an all around hilarious guy. The next question comes from Tekka Man PR. If I butchered your name, I'm sorry, but anyways, Tekka Man PR asks What game have you played and beat in a day or less? And what game have you played that is so hard that it made you throw the controller at the screen at least a dozen times? Well, Karate Kid is a game that I could beat like in 20 minutes on the NES. I did a review a couple weeks ago if you want to check out the video and you haven't seen it. The link's down here as well. Um, a lot of these old games, they're very easy to beat. Uh, let's just go through a few real quick. Donkey Kong, for example. Everybody can beat Donkey Kong like nothing. It just repeats. Um, Little Mermaid, I've beaten that in a day or less. Double Dragon. Um, Karate Kid. The list goes on and on. It's kind of a hard question to answer because a lot of old Aethid games, they're easy to beat about a day or less. Um, as far as other games go, like later on consoles, these two, for example, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, I could beat them in a day. Um, it all depends on how much free time you have. Uh, back when I was playing these, I had lots of free time, but now I barely have any because of work and other things. Um, hose, no, I'm just kidding. I have no hose at all. The well's dry, brother. The well's dry. The game that made me throw the controller at the screen is actually a Nintendo 64 game, and it's called Hybrid Heaven. I have no idea why I bought this fucking game for the price that I did when it was out. Um, I think some fucking fat kid at school recommended it for my collection, but this game is fucking hard. And it's interesting, but it just, it didn't play out right on the 64. I don't think this game should have came out on the Nintendo 64. I think it should have came out on the GameCube, because this did come out towards the end of the 64, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it had pretty good graphics, but the control was hard, the gameplay was hard, the fighting system was hard, and it was just a really, really frustrating game. I'm very glad that I beat it. There's no replayability value to it, and I don't know how the hell I got into a mini-review of Hybrid Heaven, because I could save this game for another one, but I'm sure I will be talking about this one soon, but good question. The next question is from Deadly Nero Toxins, and he asks, what is my job at this moment? I work at an office job. It's a real pain to ask. Uh, I'm the type of lazy guy that doesn't like to wake up in the morning before 10 o'clock. Uh, it pays the bills. It's fun at times. The people there are real cool, but as far as that, that's as far as I'll go into that question. Uh, 
Also, uh, what I really would like to do is get paid for what I'm doing right now, but... 1001 gamer reviewers out there are partners on YouTube, so hopefully if a non-YouTube channel sees this channel and wants me to make some moolah on their website, hit me up. Other than that, uh, there's a thousand reviewers out there, so I'm just having fun with this. Captain 8-Bit asked, do you plan on shaving anytime soon? And he asked, what is the hardest game that I've ever played? Well, I did shave about a week ago, and I'm already growing a nice little beard again. As I mentioned, it's a real bitch to fucking shave. Uh, I have to have those freaking quattro four more freaking blades on the thing, or else I'm there all day shaving. Uh, hardest game I ever played, probably a toss-up between Hybrid Heaven, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, um, there's a lot of Master System games that are actually pretty fucking hard, too. Um, off the top of my head, um, the Ninja, for example, on the Master System is pretty hard. I can't get anywhere on that game. Um, Choplifter on the Sega Master System is pretty fucking hard. I get, can't get past the third stage, the cave stage. Um, on the NES, I would probably say that the hardest game I've ever played is Ninja Gaiden. I mean, that's everybody's nightmare. And it's just a really hard game. All three of them, actually. Ninja Gaiden 1, 2, and 3. Is a Riraldi, if I'm butchering your name like a butcher cutting a slice of meat, I apologize, but Is Riraldi asked, have you seen 300? You kind of look like that Sparta King Lee Norris, or you notice? Uh, as you can see, I obviously haven't seen that movie, but thanks. I find that as a compliment because I'm one of the most unathletic looking motherfuckers out there, but the beard was pretty fucking epic. Uh, if I won the lottery, what kind of car I would buy? I'd buy one that doesn't fucking suck gas like mine does, because mine is a fucking gas-guzzling motherfucker. Uh, I drive a Suzuki Grand Vitara, and back when gas was pretty cheap, it was not a pain in the ass to freaking drive. Um, I would probably pick something small. Um, I'm not really a car person. If I wanted one just for looks, I'd probably buy a pretty sweet Mustang or a pretty sweet Hummer or something and wouldn't drive it at all, but I just need something that's reliable to get around. Clean Video Game Nerd. And he asked, what's the strangest or most bizarre game I've ever played? And that has to be an Atari 2600 game. And that is the Beat 'em and Eat 'em game. I don't own it, but after seeing the Angry Video Games review of the Atari porn games, I decided to play it. That one, all the Atari porn games are freaking wacko. So, those are the most bizarre ones that I think I've played. Um, I can't think of anything else weird besides that. Nintendo Sega Fan 912 asks, How do I record my game footage? Well,. <coughs> I actually checked out your channel, buddy, and I see that you use the camera on the actual screen. A lot of gamers do that, but what I did is I went onto Amazon and I bought this little device. Diamond V-Touch VC500 something. Um, it's a USB thing that attaches to the back of my VCR with some AV cables, and you record it onto your computer. Uh, what I do is I record my gameplay footage first on a VHS tape, and I'll go ahead and show you how I do it real quick. Okay, how I record my gaming footage, I use the gameplay footage I record first onto a VHS tape, and then from there, the video capture card I have connects to my USB card right here, and I just record the footage on my laptop, and that's it. Um, the capture device that I got was only about 25 bucks, so just find yourself one on Amazon and it does wonders for your videos. So, thanks, good question. Pinball RJ asks, what is my shoe size? And I have a small girly foot. If I could lift it right now over the screen, I would show you, but I have a nine and a half foot. And for a dude, that's probably about average, I don't know, but I think I have the smallest foot out of people that I know as far as like my friends go. Um, I wish I had a bigger shoe size, but then again, uh, my foot's also weird. It's also very narrow, so I have to get narrow shoes because it's hard to find nine and a half that aren't wide for some fucking odd reason. I don't know. The next question comes from Compa Catch, and he asks, 
what NES game am I missing that I would love to have in my collection? And what is my favorite and worst NES game in my collection? There's actually a ton of NES games that I would love to have in my collection, such as the one that we saw on Game Chester's Episode 3, the Mirror Mad 6 to 1. I'd love Bubble Bath Babes. I'd love to have all the rest of the Dragon Warriors, uh, Bubble Bubble 2, DuckTales 2, um, Boy and His Blob, I don't have that game, Clash at Demon Head. My favorite NES game in my collection, actually, the one that I could just pick up and play all the time, is Super Mario Bros. 1, 2, and 3. Um, those are classics, you want to kill time, you want to play some NES, just pick up Super Mario Bros., any of them. Classic. Mike Tyson's Punch-Out also. I love Punch-Out. My worst game to play on my NES actually is probably this one, the Chess Master, and it's because I don't know how to play chess at all. Um, this game really, really sucks. I only have it because when I bought my NES, I got a lot of games, and this is one of them that comes with it. So I don't really like chess. I don't like the Chess Master. This one, um, Gauntlet 2, um, Cedar's Palace, I'm not a big fan of casino games, uh, Baseball Simulator 1000, a lot of the ones that I've bought that were like a dollar or two, I don't like to play. Uh, I just want to get them added to the list for some reason. I've had a real addiction with collecting NES games. Um, let's see, as far as like games that I really, 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 really despise and probably could do without. Um, TNC Surf Design. That's a game that a lot of people like, and I really don't like it, and I really haven't even touched it. Bad or Heavy Shred. A lot of the sport games I really don't touch. Uh, the only one I really like is Tecmo Bowl, and that's because it's a fucking classic. Ice Hockey 2, that's a classic too. The next question comes from VK White, who asks, A girl was asked who she would take to prom four years from now. I'm in the eighth grade, and she said, Mind me. Is that a signal that she likes me? Well, if you're in the 8th grade and she's already talking about taking you to prom, dude, which is 4 years from now, she's DTF. She's already thinking about post-prom shenanigans. So you get on that shit right now while she's still young. Crazy Clown 6221 asks, What's the absolute worst game I've ever played? And who is my favorite wrestler? Well, you know, the worst game I've ever, ever, ever played, and it's on the Super Nintendo, is Tasmania. This was a game that I got on sale at Walmart in 1996 when the Nintendo 64 was actually coming out. So the Super Nintendo was discontinued. And around this time, a lot of the Super Nintendo games fucking sucked. If you got a bargain bin Nintendo, uh, Super Nintendo game, they were really badly done. There was something about the quality of the Super Nintendo games that went down. And for some reason, this game really, really, really sucks. Um, they tried to be real cool with the graphics and make it like a cool, like, 3D looking racing effect, but I can't stand this game. Um, E.T. is bad, but there's some kind of nostalgia factor to E.T. The world's worst video game, but it has a part in gaming history. It contributed to it. It had an instrumental role. Even though it was negative, E.T. had an instrumental role. As far as this game goes, this didn't do shit for the gaming community. They shouldn't even made this fucking game. Any of the sports games made from like 1993 to 2000 were all pretty shitty too. My favorite wrestler, um, it depends. All time is the Nature Boy Ric Flair. He is the fucking man. Ric Flair kicks ass. Edwin Ocasio 3 asks, King Kong Bundy, Mean Gene, and Andre the Giant are stuck in the bottom of a well. Who do I save first? Mean Gene Okerlund, dude. That guy's like, ageless. He still looks the same to me as he did in 85. Um, I've just always liked Mean Gene. There's not enough Mean Gene on TV. Andre the Giant was God, but I'm sure he's tall enough to get out of the well on his own. King Kong Bundy probably wouldn't fit in the well. Mean Gene's probably the one that needs the most rescuing. And the only question on Facebook that I got on my Facebook fan page, which you motherfuckers that are watching need to click like and fucking join the Facebook page, Antonio Medeiros, I don't know if I'm pronouncing your name right, but he asked, two cartridges of NES games are on fire, and you have water to distinguish only one. The two cartridges are The Little Mermaid and Zelda. Choose one. And if you choose Little Mermaid, you have big cojones and I must play the game. Well, I like both games, 
Zelda takes a little bit more time to play. Little Mermaid is just one that I like to pick up and play, and it's actually a really good game. It's one of my favorite Disney ones, so I'd probably pick The Little Mermaid, just because it's a little bit more... How do you say it? It's a little bit more of a game that's easier to pick up and play, and plus Ariel's fucking hot, and I just love that game. Don't get me wrong, I love Legend of Zelda, but... You know, you gotta save the damsel in distress. That's all the questions I had for this question to answer. I'd like to thank each and every single one of you for participating. This was very, very fun and interesting. Uh, hopefully when I do another one, I get more of a turnout. Uh, thanks a lot, guys, and thanks to all my subs. All of you guys are awesome. I can't do this without you, so stay tuned. And this has been 8-Bit Eric, and this has been a question and answer session. Have a nice motherfucking day.